Hi and good afternoon and welcome to Are You Arty Kids YouTube channel. I'm uh, going to do another dirty pour this afternoon. Uh, this is one uh, colourway that my able assistant, my daughter Maya, Hi. wants to do. Uh, sort of candy pinks and things like that. So we've already mixed up our our, uh, our colours in advance. So we've got some white acrylic. Uh, we've got some sort of whatever that was, I don't know, some sort of pink. Uh, sort of a red and another different type of red. Uh, we've got the acrylic paint in here, so we've got the uh, just artist tubes, and then we've also added some drops of silicon oil, pure silicon oil that you can get for like treadmills and other bits and bobs, and then we've also added some um, paint conditioner, some acrylic paint conditioner, so just water the acrylic down a little bit, giving them a good stir, just allow them to settle for a little while. Um, so they're bubbling a little bit, so I could just try and get some of these bubbles out. And I've got my canvas board, yeah, my little canvas board. You can do this on box canvas or canvas board. And then just create a bit of a drip tray using one of these roasting tins and a barbecue shelf. And then we've got our little uh, kitchen Bunsen burner ready to try and get some of these bubbles out. Okay, so you've got to think about what all you want to do things. So whatever colour is uh, pouring onto is going to be your last out as such. So I think we'll say that is our white. So this is our, our going to be our last colour out. So I'm going to just take my board off there because I got pink paint on last time we did this. I'm going to put my red, so my sort of very pinky red on here, using these tongue depressors. You can get off Amazon, which are quite a good disposable way, along with disposable pint pots, to get all the colours in. And get some more of this colour out. Okay, that's one of my first cups. Then I think I'm just going to mix it up with this really nice. What colour would you say this is, Maya? Candy pink. Candy pink. I like that colour. Yeah, I quite like it as well. Reminds me of sort of, I don't know, sort of candy pink ice cream or candy floss, a bit raspberry ish actually. I'd say candy floss with light. I mean, yeah, lighter. Yeah, lighter. Okay, so that's our next one. And I'm going to finish it off with this one. I don't know what this colour is. It's a bit like post box red almost. Getting that working in. Got quite a lot of liquid now. So if you think about volumes, this cup is like, um, I don't know what these are actually. They're not a half pint glass. They're a lot smaller than that. But on a small canvas like this, you don't need a, a massive amount. And obviously the thing about a dirty pour is that we don't do any stirring up at all. So, got our mix there, got our white and our two or three pinks there. That's Let's put that in place. Mix. This is a pretty mix. Okay, Maya, what should we do? Should we pour or should we go for the centre? Centre. Centre, okay. So what we'll do, a bit like tipping a, tipping a cake out. You know, tip that in the middle. Yeah. Like a strawberry milkshake now. <laughs> and I'll let that just... Work its way down the cup inside. All right, out. take this off, watch it flow. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Get some of this out on the edges. Okay, I'm gonna go in close and watch this thing unveil. That's what's left in my cup. Look. That's beautiful. So it's quite beautiful in itself, isn't it? That's quite gorgeous in there. So I'm gonna let just gravity and nature take its course and this is the messy bit now trying to just get it to all the corners if we can looks like there's a bubble when there's not a bubble yeah without wasting too much ink too much too much paint i can get that corner And just force it. You don't want to put your fingers in it if you can help it, because obviously you get that very deliberate, deliberate look like I just have there, which is a bit annoying. Okay, and then just one corner to go. I really like that corner. Yeah, I like that white. So I'm just gonna. Oh, it's a good job. This is where you need your gloves. It's a lot brighter than it is on camera. I like the white coming out now. Okay, so oh, get that on there. 
quite like that white there though, so I might just I might just tip that a bit further now, even though I've got a bit of a lump in it for some reason. Let's try and get that. There's a black spot. A black spot? Yeah, it's there. Okay, I think that's a bubble. Alright, I'm gonna take my gloves. Why is it black? Don't know. Take my gloves off. Yuck. The strategy of how to take your gloves off. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, we're gonna do a bit of get ready for the flame moosh. Okay. Oh wow, I can see that those, when those bubbles are exploding, it's bringing the white through to the surface. Big on there. Don't wanna. Gotta be careful not to tip, get too close, like I've just done there, and you get a bit of tarnishing. A bit of bubble burst. Just almost like caramelize it, which is really annoying. You can see some bubbles under the surface. Just trying to get them without, so I want to make them pop without frying the paint almost. You fried it. Yeah. Smoke for I like this white area here, it's created loads of cells. Do anything too drastic. A bit annoyed about that bit in the middle there. I wonder if I can. Which bit? Just that bit where I popped the annoying. Oh. Um. In that corner, I don't like. If you're in the veins. I know. I'm gonna. Dungeon. I'm just gonna try and get some of this stuff to sit. Looks a bit now. like candy cane though. <laughs> like that watch there. Looks a bit like candy cane. A bit like candy line. Danger, isn't it? It's like I've added that because I wasn't happy with that last piece, but now uh, I'm not happy with the result. Now. It just looks a little bit too manufactured. I really want to go in there with a stick and do something with it, but I just don't know what's going to. off and just do a little bit of I kind of want to keep the cup <laughs> kind of want to keep the cup yeah like you could dry it and then like use it for drinks and like wash out I don't know because then if you washed out yeah I don't think it's yeah that one that I don't think that's like <sighs> that's what it's all separating isn't it yeah it's all wrinkly in a bit there If you make a scarf out of this, it'll be in my name. <laughs> yeah. And may a scarf. Hang on. And it looks like in a little more. We've lost the veininess. I know. <laughs> Nine minutes, twenty, something seconds. Oh, I'm not so it's just very white and then red, isn't it? I don't, know if, I, don't know I don't know if I should try moving the whole thing, should I give it a go? Yes, pink there, pink there.
get some more gloves on. Oh, the arty zone of paints under the table. Uh, I think it's one of these things, isn't it? Is if you're not happy with it, you've got nothing to lose, really. So I'm just going to try and move the whole paint in. Just see if I can get some out of like, otherwise we'll bin it and do another one. Yeah, yeah. It's all wrinkly. Yeah, it's smoking and skin where it's. Wink on that. Do you remember when you did them tiny little green ones? Yeah. And then you gave them to me in the air. I've still got mine. Yeah, it does. Mm. Keep it flattened out, then that will be really pretty. Yeah, I think that's the key thing, isn't it? Flattening it out is a thing that we need to do. Oh, I remember that pink spodge. In the corner. It's really crazy now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, like a circle. What do you think? Do you think we should shake it a little bit more that way, or very spoopy? Like this. You can't really tell. Like I don't even think it's droopy anymore. I'm a little bit happier with it. Yeah, I like it. I like this bit. And I like the pink bits, like, yay. Yeah. Let's just settle it down. I'm just getting it more on one surface now because it's not as globuly. It's an interesting texture, isn't it? So it hasn't got those cells that we had at the start, which probably came from the silicon, but. I prefer it now because it hasn't got that one white area and then one red area. Which one's the silicon? Is it that oily stuff? Yeah, the oil. oil. Yeah, that's yeah. what that's what gives it the little the little cells. It's hot. It is hot. Yeah. Imagine at the end roast marshmallows on it. Yeah, well, you probably yeah you probably could. Yeah. Could you? Yeah. Would it roast? Yeah, it would do. Yeah, you could probably put them on a little toasty fork on one of those wooden bamboo things. You could probably roast them. Yeah. Right, I think we've got... So I'm just going to look at... Trying to catch the light, see if I can see any major... Any bubbles. It's different. It's a different sort of look and texture to what we normally have. This is the sort of, this sort of area is typical, but this is typical. like a crazy paving. Yeah, we that. haven't done that yet. It looks like if you were to cut a you piece of was. meat, you know, like a, like a really? sort of slab of meat, you know, it's got that, what they call in meat, they call it marbling, where the fat no, runs through meat. I don't want to drop that because my arms Okay, well, we're nearly done. We're nearly ending this Are You Arty on, Kids video. We're, we're on three minutes, something, something seconds. Three minutes, 42 seconds. Are we? No, yeah. 13 minutes. 13, 13 minutes. Okay, I think we're just our, about our finished. Our last one was like 10 minutes. Was it? All right, I think we're good. Do a last shot just ab above. Do you want me to take it? Yeah, I'm too small. Okay, do a nice shot there. Okay, signing off. Thanks for watching, guys.